Hi, my name is Vinci and I'm a mixed reality specialist at the Immersive Effects Studio, a visual effects facility dedicated to creating augmented and virtual reality solutions that help businesses and education stakeholders build a new generation of content by leveraging professional expertise, synergy and automation. Our team is united by the vision to make a positive impact on formal and informal learning practices and has made tireless progress despite the unusual climate of 2020. There are many different ways to explain immersive technology and what it is. It's in a way a game and it's also like a movie. It's innovative and scientific, yet at times it may seem fictional, even magical. We can agree to say that it's not about what's going on inside the device. It's about what's going on inside the head of the viewer. It's a new media platform, one which is spread in all dimensions around us and one which is actively responding to everything we do. Let's look at virtual reality. In order to perform a virtual reality experience, the user begins by placing a headset on top of their head. Think of it as a binoculars with a digital screen on the inside, which shows the same image to both eyes with a small overlapping area. This triggers a special sense in the brain which subconsciously agrees to believe this reality, and this is known as stereoscopic vision. The most amazing thing about being immersed in virtual reality is when you start moving and everything moves together with you. It instantly makes you want to experience more, to improvise and to explore. What makes it extraordinary is the safety of the environment and what makes it so extravagant is the confidence to do, to be and to explore. In the physical world in 2020, you can identify as anybody, but when you are inside the virtual world, all that fades away. It's a place where you can find solace, peace and focus on exactly what's at hand. It gives you the opportunity to start over, regardless of your story or circumstances. No matter what your age is, your ethnicity, your gender or even your position. In virtual reality, we have the opportunity to start at the same place, begin the experience together with the same rules and at the same time. A good design follows real life and follows the function and the form. It's a level which contains basic yet essential elements such as beeps, boops, shadows and highlights. The visual style invites the viewer to explore the scene while dynamic and ambient sounds maintain the connection alive and allow the user to feel present, to actually feel there. On the screen we see Yune Genjo, head of production at Immersive X Studio who is demonstrating the potential use of virtual reality to perform digital classroom trainings for engineers. In the circumstances of closed international borders, it would be impossible to travel to foreign offices and deliver specialized training for niche assets of great importance. Immersive e-learning is a valid solution for presentation, teaching and exercise sessions over distance. Augmented reality is another immersive technology. It's a lot easier to use than virtual reality because it only requires a smart mobile device. AR does not extract us from our surroundings. Instead, it combines the real with the imaginary. It relies on the existing world while making some tweaks and enhancements to it thanks to computer vision and algorithms. It's a simple idea and it's revolutionizing the way we share information. Both front-facing and selfie camera of a device can be used with augmented reality and if we look forward we can discover a whole realm of content which is non-existent and if we look at ourselves through the selfie camera then we can apply all sorts of filters on ourselves and preview products. Social media platforms are paving the way for augmented reality and it's open for everybody to design and to post filters. This makes the technology greatly available to the wide audience and the public and furthermore, augmented reality applications have image recognition features which allow the scanning of items. In this way, interacting with the physical world can create a digital fingerprint and this can influence the customer acquisition and customer conversion strategies for business. Let's explore mixed reality. It's a technology which makes science fiction from the not so distant past come to life. Mixed reality combines the best points of augmented and virtual reality to produce something completely new using both computer vision, stereoscopic vision and many other amazing technologies. Physical and digital objects can coexist in real time and it's possible for us to interact with them. When we use mixed reality glasses, we are going to experience a different lifestyle, one of online hands-free existence, 
away from two-dimensional screens. AR, VR, and MR are already revolutionizing the present and the future, providing us with a completely different perspective on how we can interact with systems and with each other. They bring us one step closer to a more digital tomorrow, full of accessible knowledge, limitless capabilities, unbound interactions and connections. They serve as a game changer not only for brands and the way they interact with customers, but also for essential sectors such as education and healthcare. Now let's look at content creation. Photogrammetry is an efficient solution to create digital replicas of existing physical objects and locations. The process begins by collecting pictures, which are later fed to special software programs which compute shapes, position and colors from two-dimensional images. The computations gather dots into clouds, which gradually obtain shape. This shape acquires a surface, and this surface has texture. With few final touches, amazing assets can be created without having to be sculpted from scratch. And with photogrammetry, digitalizing actual people on screen is absolutely within our reach as well. The sensation from any digital experience changes completely when there is an interaction with another human. We are just so different from artificial intelligence. The layer of unpredictability in our behavior is impossible to reproduce. The recipe for an exciting immersive experience must consider the following fundamentals. Character, environment and interactiveness. Interactiveness is what separates immersive technologies from normal media. We are used to flat screens on our desktops, laptops and even our phones. With augmented and virtual reality this limitation goes away. We have come a long distance in the development of computer graphics and rendering power and now we can offer much higher levels of complexity in decision making to the users than before and the immersive experience provokes feelings of triumph, frustration and wonder from becoming an imaginary character in a virtual world and role-playing in three dimensions can be super realistic. It's actually a proven method for learning and being actively involved in the story, being accountable for its outcome and having to make choices and take actions is a responsibility-bearing task which engages of course more attention. This can actually make a person think about the experience experience long after they have finished it, think of their performance and the memories of it all. And overcoming obstacles and challenges can be tackled with curiosity. This can be determined as having a consciousness inside the level, which can be transported into real life. And in addition, the virtual experience generates a lot of metadata, which can be used for analytical research to provide insights and allow us to understand ourselves understand others and accomplish new levels of empathy and social inclusion in organizations or in society. Furthermore, virtual reality can cloak social issues and morality matters and disguise them as learning experiences, which can be implemented to reduce human bias and hesitation in a social setting and build assertiveness. What makes the interactiveness complete is the multiplayer functionality that immersive technologies offer. Let's imagine an example together. It's 2020. Most of the online events are a linear series of content, video presentations. There is a date when they start a fixed location and everything runs by the clock. But sometimes the audience is not visible. Other times it's visible in a list or as members of a group. We can think of this differently. Let's imagine a spacious area filled with small tents, for example. Each one with an opening and inside a spacious area with a presentation screen on the wall, which allows the user to start the content themselves and decide when to stop it. Using a headset for virtual reality or a computer and it, with its keyboard and mouse can give us access to this online session where we can be together with other participants and other visitors we would be able to see their avatars floating around us and actually communicate. We would be able to stand inside the tent, which represents the topic of our interest, and observe who else comes to see the content. There, there is going to be a new etiquette for uh, virtual behavior in immersive environments and a lot of new privacy features, which allow us to be approachable or incognito. We are going to have the opportunity to feel serendipity as we meet and communicate with other participants. 
Another great accomplishment of engineering is the conversational artificial intelligence bot, which can be placed inside a level to create a feeling of organization and hospitality and actually help carry the load of virtual events. At the entrance of each stage, we would be able to meet an automated representative of an organization who can pitch and answer our curiosity. And if we wander off the map, there would be another avatar from the organizers to guide us back and make us feel attended. Multiplayer virtual reality experiences are a fact in many sectors, for example the medical and engineering one, where surgeon and engineer qualification can be performed in an immersive environment with special tools which trace every movement of the participant's hand. And furthermore, the tutor can be present online to assist and to explain in detail all that is necessary, even if in reality he is miles away. With such accelerated and enhanced experiential learning, trainings can be completed ahead of schedule and under budget. So how do you start? Well, there is an entire dossier of questions that need to be answered. What is the objective of the experience? Where does it begin? What is the graphical user interface? What are the controls and cues in front of the user? Where is the entire thing being stored? And how is it being streamed? And most importantly, how do we make it feel real? And starting may seem impossibly difficult, and my response has always been to focus on what matters most, which is the human. The big idea is not to take the viewer and place a screen in front of them, but rather to take them somewhere else. There is so much going on with AR and VR technology at the moment. Education stakeholders are exploring new immersive edutech solutions, accelerated learning programs, digital STEM experiments and exercises, new platforms to share knowledge across distance, or just solutions to build a digital campus. And art stakeholders are charmed by the idea of having limitless exhibition space, no risk for the artifacts, and are actually impatient to greet a new wave of tourists who are exploring cultural heritage without having to travel outside of their home or across boundaries. And many businesses are starting to leverage the trends of retail payment and to create entire experiences around the product where they lead to conversion through storytelling and immersion and interaction. And this is a whole new race which has started to preview product ranges and collaborate. Marketing professionals are optimizing the expenditure on commercial print campaigns and are maximizing their conversion rates by launching augmented reality applications that collaborate with their physical catalogs and in other sectors where more abstract offerings are made, such as the banking and insurance sector, immersive technologies are being used to express the trustworthiness of organizations and create an emotional connection with viewers without having any physical contact. It's a new era of immersion, exploration and interaction. It's a pivotal moment when technology is more available than ever before. The arena now belongs to the visionaries who are in charge of tackling the task of reimagining the world. A new generation of hardware is putting us in a position where we can influence the future and actually make a difference for ourselves and the generations that come after us. Starting to wear gadgets instead of holding them in our hands is going to create new interfaces, new lifestyles and a whole new environment. This human-machine symbiotic collaboration is going to help us fast forward to a digital tomorrow and boost all levels of productivity. It's easier to fast forward to a digital tomorrow now than ever before. We should not only step on the idea of digitalization thinking about content. We should do our best to imagine a new world with new interfaces and tools that better understand humans and allow us to have an interconnected experience. What we are doing may be ahead of its time, but the time to dive into ImmersiveX is now.